have a brand new five star review by Moratorium. Okay. She said, My absolute favorite podcast, John Reap is hilarious, his folks great, and the fans like family. I look forward to watching slash listening every week. Laughter is medicine for the soul. Nice. Well, thank you. Hit the hit applause. Thank you, Moratorium. And uh, let's give uh, her excuse me, boss. Excuse me. Okay. Uh, excuse me, boss. Excuse me, boss. Oh, right. that was yeah. a double air horn. I didn't know you had. <laughs> yes, Elliot, what's up? Well, I'm sorry, but uh, I feel like Isaiah, he didn't really do that review justice. I'm sorry. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you mean? Well, I mean, it, he read it like he does every time. It, exactly. It lacked uh, the charge. Um, gravitas. Well, there it is. Yeah. Gravitas. You, you yes. mean to say <laughs> gravitas? Uh, gravitas, yes. Do you yeah. mind, Alan? Oh, wait, what are you doing? Oh, you want. Oh, Oh, okay. Gingers Need Love Too by Moratorium. My absolute favorite podcast. John Reap is hilarious. His folks, great. Yes. And the fans like family. I look forward to watching slash listening every week. Laughter is medicine for the... Whoa, 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 whoa. That's good. Alan, stop, God. wait a minute. What, why are you reading it like that? I, 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 I don't know what you're talking you about. You sound like Barry White. I feel like I could get pregnant over here. Wait a minute. Is that? Is this your boo thing? Did she write that review? Uh, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, there, boss. Uh oh. I think he's jealous of Isaiah. Uh huh. So I heard, heard his girlfriend wanted say that she wanted Isaiah <laughs> to narrate her life story. Mm. Is this true? It's true. Well, okay, I admit it. I'm tired of the little bastard stealing all my girlfriends. But aren't all your girlfriends angry man hating lesbians? Well, all but the one. That's why I'm not taking any chances. Okay. Folks, I'm sorry for this. Um, moratorium, thanks for the review. Elliot Intern, seek help. Also, well that was a script written by Elliot the Intern. <laughs> well, thanks for ruining it. <laughs> well, I have to. This, this show's about honesty, yes. and I have to be honest. And Since by the when? way, not bad. Oh, wait, thank you, sir. We had fun with it. Mm -hmm. This was last minute. He hands us the stuff two seconds before we go live, mm -hmm. and uh, we pulled it off. Well, and now, so, so. does this mean that the mask is coming off? Elliot unmasked. Maybe. Do we get to see Elliot unmasked? Uh, well, you have to stick around for it's after dark, like I guess. wrestling build up. Is he going to take off the mask or yeah. is he going to keep it and on? By the way, stay in the tuned script, to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were dissing Isaiah's uh, voiceover, and I think oh. that he actually has a good voice. There are a lot of people who watch this show. Who yeah. I mean, we got a review just based on him. I know the West Virginia sweet sound. Someone loves. I mean, the way you sound, and I think you need more opportunities for voiceover action. So I have a script for you that I'm, Sergeant Mark Havelbaugh is going to hand you right now. A little surprising. Okay? Now, here's what we're going to do. I thought it would be neat to have you narrate or do famous voiceovers from famous movies. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to show a little bit of Shawshank Redemption, which was narrated by Morgan Freeman. <laughs> but what would it look like if intern Isaiah was doing the voiceover? So, um, Alan, you let me know whenever you're ready, and we'll. You want to try and do it at the same time, or you want to have them read first, or? No, let's just go ahead and do okay. it. Okay, so go ahead and uh, play the video, and let's try and time it just right. So you want me to read? I at want the you same to re time. read it right now. Andy Dufresne, who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. Andy Dufresne headed for the Pacific. Those of us who knew him best talk about him often. I swear the stuff he pulled, it always makes us laugh. Sometimes it makes me sad, though. Andy being gone, I have to remind myself that some birds aren't meant to be caged. That's all. Their feathers are just too bright. And when they fly away, the part of you that knows it was a sin to lock them up does rejoice. But still, the place you live is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. I guess I just miss my friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good job. Good job. Good job. Hit your own yeah. yeah. Dude, Excellent. Wow. Make some extra time. I can't wait money. to go home and watch this again. Hey, it's me again. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked that. 
If you did, you, uh, you should check out the entire episode. It's a blast. And then if you're going to do that, you might as well subscribe. And then, you know, if you're going to subscribe, you might as well hit the notification bell. All right? And, uh, and know that I love you. <laughs>